Uh, welcome everybody. In today's video we're going to be looking at matrices. Okay, so matrices are really really useful for lots of things. Um, in year 11 what we're going to be looking at is the costing matrices and then when we go to year 12 we'll be looking at these other ones here. So connectivity dominance matrices and transition matrices. Uh, we certainly use them for crypt uh, cryptography which is a really important thing. Um, and obviously in business they are so important for lots of uh, businesses and people probably use matrices and don't even know they're using them right so we'll talk about that in class as well um, so what do you need to know well we're going to be doing addition of matrices really and then multiplication of matrices and we're going to stick this year just to the costing matrices all right so that's what we're going to do now, some information about matrices, what you need to know. We have a little bit like a spreadsheet. We have rows, okay, the rows go across, and the columns, they go up and down. So if you think about the Colosseum or buildings, the columns hold up the roof, and the rows go across, all right? So if we're looking at this information here, we've got a three by three matrix here. We've got three rows, and we've got three columns. We'll be looking at that. So scalar, addition all right so if i'm going to times a matrix by a scalar or by a number what it means is i have to times every value in the matrix by that okay so two becomes equal to eight three becomes equal to 12 six becomes 24. i think you get the idea you might do this if you were trying to make 400 percent increase so if i want to make 400 percent increase i would times that by four allow me to do that um, so that's the scalar quantity. When I'm adding two matrices together, I'm going to simply go the first value there plus the first value there. So 2 plus 7 is 9, 3 plus 2 is 5, 6 plus 8 is 14. All right, so you have to hit the corresponding side there. So that's addition of matrices. And now um, subtraction will be exactly the same. The key thing there is, for these to be added, they have to be exactly the same type of matrix. Alright, so you can see the example there when we're looking at the, the uh, subtraction. Alright, so we've got 2 take 7 is going to give me minus 5, 3 plus 3 take 2 is going to give me 1. So that's subtraction. Um, I think really this, it's just doing addition and subtraction over and over and over again. Now this is the really important one, which is the multiplication, okay? So for us to be able to multiply two matrices together, they have to be in a certain particular way, all right? So if we say this one here's got two rows, three columns, this one here's got three, three rows and two columns, if this middle number in the middle, the two threes are the same, then we can multiply them. Okay, and then we should get a 2 by 2, which is the out, outside numbers, as our answer. All right, so just to go through how we do that, we're going to go 3 times by 7. We're going to go 4 plus 4 times by 1. And we're going to go 5 times by negative 3. Okay, and that will give us position number 1, 1. Row 1, column 2, 3 times by 9. 4 times by 10, 5 times by 3. Row 1, column 2, position 1, 2. And then we go row 2, repeat the process, negative 6 times 7, 1 times by 1, and 2 times by negative 3. Position row 2, column number 1, and then row 2, column 2, negative 6 times by 9, 1 times by 10, and 2 times by 6. We work those out, we add them up, and we get our answer there. All right, so here's another example. Okay, so a really simple one. So let's say you went to the shop, you had three soft drinks, and you had uh, four chocolate bars, and you had two ice creams, and that's the price of each of them. If I go that times by that, that will give me the total cost. Now, you would never do that, because you can do that calculation in your head. All right, the costing matrices. All right, so we do this more so when we have lots of information. So here's an example of uh, selling pies. Okay, so you feel you sold 13 pies, big pies on a Monday, 9 on Tuesday, 7 Wednesday, 15 on Thursday. 
um, and you're going to charge how much for each of these pies? Well, the cost is three dollars, four dollars, and two dollars. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll times the cost by the actual profits made on a Monday. So it will tell me that I actually make eighty-three dollars on a Monday. Three dollars for all the beef pies, four dollars for the chicken pies or whatever they are, and two dollars for the other ones. And so when I do that calculation, it's going to tell me how much I make from each of my particular items on each day of the week. All right. So that's the usefulness of looking at matrices. All right. Now we can also do this in a on a graphics calculator, and I'll show you how to do that in class. I think it might be easier. Um, and like I said, next year we'll be looking at transition matrices, which is, uh, these are really, really useful, really cool. Okay, looking at those.